Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create multiple menus inside of Wix Studio. Now, why would you wanna have multiple menus on your website? And one example is, let's say we wanna have a nice clean header menu, but maybe in the footer, we're gonna have more extended menus and you don't wanna have to use buttons or text with effects on them to create that effect. It's so much simpler to create multiple menus. Another reason, if you watched my mega menu, new tutorial, you will remember that the mega menu was really only available on the desktop and tablet. It wasn't really available and it doesn't really make sense to have it on mobile. So maybe for mobile, you'd want to have a secondary menu that would include important links from the mega menu in it. But now that you have a couple reasons for why, now it is time to show you how. So inside of Wix Studio, what we're gonna want to do is let's just do it for the footer down here. And what I want to do is create vertical menus here. So I'm gonna come over to add, we'll go down to menus, we'll go to vertical menus and we'll select this one right here. I'm gonna drag this one into the about section and you're gonna notice right away that the menu options are actually the same ones that we have from our header menu, but we don't want that to be the case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select on this menu element here. We're gonna press manage menu and you're gonna notice that the menu that we have selected is the one that we have from the header. So what I'm gonna do is drop down this menu item and I'm gonna say manage site menus and you can ignore this one. This one was just kind of a test one for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new menu. And what I'm going to call this menu is footer. And we'll make this for the about part in the footer. Okay, so now we have this one selected. You'll notice that right here under the drop down, we now have this one selected here as well. And now it's time to actually add the pages. So we're going to go down to add item and we can add main pages. We can add links and we can even add sub menu titles. Now for today's video, we're gonna just choose main pages. And under the about section, we don't really need to link to the home. So I'm gonna uncheck that one. I am gonna go ahead and add things like our mission statement, our farmers, careers, our story. And I think that will go ahead and be it. And I'm gonna go ahead and press apply. So right away, you're gonna notice it basically changed which pages are shown here. And I'm gonna go ahead and extend this out. Under the layout options, if we wanted it to be a centered menu, we could do that here as well. We can even do right aligned, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as left aligned and I'm gonna go ahead and close out. So now we have this vertical menu here with our different menu items in here. And what I want to do is come over here to the design tab and under text, I just wanna make sure we change the font to whatever font we want. We can change the size and we can even change the color of the text. Now I am just gonna choose a slightly lighter color than black. So we'll just choose a gray color there. We can even do it for the sub menu as well. And if we come over to here to selected, let's go ahead and set this to our middle gray as well. I don't typically like having the selected pages be a different color. So we're just gonna go ahead and change that there. Perfect. And the last thing I'm gonna do is come down to spacing and I'm gonna remove the text offset because I do want the text to be right up against the line here. And now we are done with this design. So now what I can do is if I wanted to, I could go ahead and link this button to the about page. And now we'll have this vertical menu linking to specific other pages that are kind of in line with the about page. But now what I want to do is just go ahead and grab both of these and stack them together. But now that we have this vertical menu created, I want to do the same exact thing for the resources here. So I'm gonna go over to add, grab a vertical menu, drag this out. I'm gonna place this right up where it matches the height where the other one is. We'll make sure we extend it. And I'm gonna right click on this one. We'll say copy element design from all breakpoints. And we're gonna paint it onto this one right here. So you'll notice it copied the same design. So the same text and even the spacing that we have applied. Now, the only thing that we need to do is create the other menu. So we're gonna go to manage menu. We're gonna press this drop down, manage site menus, add new menu. And I'm gonna call this one footer and we'll do resources, perfect. Once we have that selected, we can close out, add main pages, we'll remove the home, but maybe for this one, we want nutritional facts, news, resources, blog, and FAQ. Once we're happy with that, we can press apply. And just like we did with this one over here, we stack them together. I'll grab these and we'll stack them together. And last but not least, let's say we want to create a little menu that has the 
privacy policy in terms of service or disclaimers. So I'm gonna grab this horizontal menu. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come down to this cell right here and I'm gonna paste it in. Now I am going to press manage menu. Again, I'm going to manage site menu and I'm going to add a new menu and I'm gonna call this one footer policies, just like that. And for this menu, we're gonna add main pages. Of course, we're gonna remove the home page. And all I want to add is terms of service, privacy policy, and disclaimer. And we'll press apply, perfect. And we're just gonna move this one right over here to the left, or to the right, sorry, perfect. So here we've created multiple menus on our website in just a matter of minutes. And we didn't have to create custom buttons or custom text elements to create these menus. We actually just used the regular menu element and we changed which menu was applied and we added pages to that specific menu. It's just as easy as that. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.